A man set himself on fire Wednesday near the White House, the Secret Service said. A spokesman for the Washington Fire Department told CNBC, I can confirm that we've transported one patient with burns from the ellipse and we're now on the scene assisting law enforcement. The Secret Service had no comment other than referring to the agency's tweet about the incident when contacted by CNBC. White House spokesman Hogan Gately said he could not immediately comment. In a tweet the U. A Secret Service said, at approximately 12.20 p.m. a man lit himself on fire on the ellipse near 15th and Constitution Avenue. Secret Service personnel are on scene assisting and in rendering first aid. The ellipse is a 52-acre park located south of the White House fence and north of Constitution Avenue and the National Mall. Meanwhile, shocking footage of the incident was posted on several social media sites including Twitter. It shows the unidentified individual standing calmly on the White House lawn share this article share it is sometimes referred to as President's Park South and features various monuments as well as hosting official events. The incident comes just hours after special counsel Robert Mueller told the country in a dramatic statement that it was not an option for his office to have charged President Trump with an obstruction crime and that it would be inappropriate for him to speak further about his probe of Russian election interference. In a public statement he said, would likely be his only one, Mueller restated parts of his 448 report, including the controversial decision not to charge Trump with a crime. The president has repeatedly cited the report and his own attorney general's decision not to charge him as proof that there was no obstruction. But Mueller, in his sudden statement delivered with little public notification, said his decision rested on Justice Department policy, not on the guilt or innocence of President Trump. That did not stop Trump from tweeting immediately after Mueller's remarks that the case against him was closed. Nothing changes from the Mueller report. There was insufficient evidence and therefore, in our country, a person is innocent. The case is closed. Thank you, Trump wrote. Charging Trump as such would have been unconstitutional, Mueller said, making a technical legal point that nevertheless contradicts President Trump's repeated claims that he has been effectively ruled innocent by the special counsel. Mueller's remarks drew immediate and renewed calls for Trump's impeachment, including from several Democratic presidential candidates. Joining them was Representative Justin Amash of Michigan, the lone Republican to call for Congress to take up an impeachment inquiry. Senator Elizabeth Warren, Senator Kamala Harris, and South Bend Mayor Pete Buttigieg each referred to Mueller's statement as like an impeachment referral. Senator Cory Booker called impeachment proceedings the only path forward. Representative Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez wrote on Twitter, Mueller is playing a game of taboo with Congress. His word is impeached. House Judiciary Chairman Gerald Nadler said it falls to Congress to respond to the crimes, lies and other wrongdoing of President Trump.